Okay. And perfect. Now I just gotta fold this. Uh huh. And fold leaves. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Just kidding. Ciao ragazzi, Sav here, and today I'm going to be doing a fun game, and I've definitely overdosed on videos because this is my second one I'm filming today, but check the first one out. If you have a dog, you're going to love it. All right, so I basically made my drawing generator, and this challenge, this game is called Drastic Drawings. So I have a bunch of papers, piece of paper right here, and what I'm gonna do is come with me. I'm going to get a bag, and what I'm gonna do is put them in a bag, and I'm gonna pick out of the bag, and whatever I pick, I have to draw. So I'm really excited about this, because I did this in Bogota when I was stuck in quarantine, and by the way, if you didn't know this, I can tell you some facts about me in this video too. So, my name is Savannah Park, I am 14 years old, and um, I've lived in Italy for four years, and Bogota for two years, the last two years, and um, I have a dog, I don't know if you've ever seen her in my videos, if you're new, then welcome to my channel, this is my adorable Piki, this is my adorable little dog, her name is Piccola, and she is really sweet Piki, she's very sleepy all the time. Baby, can I have a kiss? Can I have a kissy? Oh, So she is just precious. All right. Bye, bud. So anyway, guys, that's my adorable dog. So as you can see, I forgot the bag. Um, I'm just going to be taking, and plug this in because it um, it's just low battery. But basically, I have a bag here. And I'm just going to be taking my bag and just putting all the paper in my bag. See, I have a lot of paper and before, I've never actually put this in a bag be before because, um, well, because I had an ice cream container and it was a lot easier. I just like rustle, put my hand in there and rustle around. Sometimes I just did it because it felt nice. But anyway, um, I've done this before, so we're going to play Jurassic Drawings in a minute. So, I'm going to get a paper, and I don't really mind if it's like, I'm just going to get my binder for school. So, I don't really mind if it's like a paper that is, um, if it's like a paper that has lines on it or not, but I'm just going to be drawing. So I have no idea what I'm drawing because I don't really remember what I put in this um, drawing generator thing, but we're going to see. Let's call this the, um, this is the perplexed picker, which is basically you pick out of this. And whatever you get, you get. Okay. So let's see what I get. Okay, I'm going to take the bag. No idea what I'm going to get. I think I want this one. I got, I got. Let's see what I got. I don't know. Ooh. Eating donuts. So something's eating donuts, I have to pick again, because I have to pick something that's going to eat the donuts. Let's pick this little one right here. Guess I'm going for the littles today. Wow, I really did not fold this very well. Let's, all right, let's see everybody. Ooh, what's it gonna be? It's stuck. Oh no, don't rip. Oops. It's a balloon! I'm drawing a balloon eating donuts! This is awesome. I'm so happy about that. Alright, perfect. Let's draw the balloon. 
So, as you can see, I have my drawing surface. So, I'm gonna, how should I put this so that you guys can see? Can I like, the problem is it's really hard, but I'm gonna be drawing and you guys are gonna see it. So, we just, the phone cord's like wrapped around the phone, but all right, there's my name, beautiful name. Okay, and it's about to get covered by a piece of paper. So, let's see, I think I'm gonna start out with pencil. I'm just gonna get pencil really quickly. I think this is going to start out in pencil because I think it'll be um, best in pencil and then I'm gonna do like colors, so I'm very excited. Also, I think I prefer drawing in like black and white most of the time, but I really love colors. So let's start. As you can see, this is a mechanical pencil. It's not focusing, but we're just gonna be, we're gonna make it so that the lead pops out. Oh, I'm turning it the wrong way, maybe. The lead's not coming out. Maybe this one doesn't have any lead. Weirdo. All right, let's see here. Does it have lead? Does it have lead? The truth. What? Ah, the lead. Hooray. Okay. So guys, I'm just going to turn a light on so that you guys can see the binder just a bit better. So I'll be right back. You can still hear me if I'm speaking loud enough, but I think that's much better now. You can see me better. Also, I had French braids from today, so my hair is really, really curly, and I really love that. It's so awesome. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be drawing for you guys today. Let's see if I can, like, okay, I'll just do what I was doing before. Okay, so... So let's start. So I'm drawing a balloon that's eating donuts, and I can draw like as many balloons as I want, but right now I'm gonna start with one. So I'm drawing my balloon. And guys, I feel like we deserve some music. This looks like Kermit the Frog, kind of. <sighs> oh, that, that does look like Kermit the Frog. I think that's how I drew balloons when I was little. Yeah, it is. Whatever, I'm gonna keep it, I like it. It's cool. I'm very excited about this because I didn't do a very big balloon because I'm not very good at doing big drawings. So I can draw more on this page, which is really good. So that is so cute. Aw, look at those adorable little eyes. They're saying they're about they're looking at his donut because he's so happy that he got it. And for some reason I just had a flashback to Disney World this year. I was um basically let's see, we have to give him hands. I guess his hands are gonna be made out of string. Anyway, I was um basically uh we were in Disney World and the only, like, times that you could actually, like, eat and take off your mask was when you were eating and you were not walking. You couldn't walk while you were eating, so it was a very different experience. But I think it was fun. Um, I'm so glad that we got to go. I don't know how to do this. But anyway, um, we, like, the last day, well, we went three days and we went to, no, we went two days. We got there one day and we just sort of chilled at the pool and then we went another day and we went with our cousins and then the last day it was just my grandma my sister and I she never made like a bite mark in something that I'm doing but anyway yeah so um he's a messy eater so I'm gonna draw like crumbs on his mouth and stuff like that but anyway um so it was really fun and we got like food from all the places around the world because we went to Epcot the first time with our cousins. And so um, that was really, really fun. And that finger looks a little weird, but it's okay. And um, I really enjoyed that. 
And so I just had a flashback of like us eating like pasta from Italy and like um, I had like an apple tart from Germany. So that was really, really fun. So I don't know why, but I just had a flashback of that. Okay, so I think we're done with our adorable balloon. I think oh, I got to give him give him little feet. I don't think he's going to have shoes on because he's a little wild child. He's he's tiny. Let's name him. His name will be Chemo. That sounds like chemotherapy. Chemo, chemolo. And if you know me, well, you're going to find out that I like to make up a lot of names. Um, not that there's anything wrong with chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is awesome. But, um, like, I like to make up names that are, like, made up completely. Like, um, I don't know how to say this, but, like, like, Shaliki. I actually made that up, and then my friend used it as a name in his book. But, um, he was like, what's a good name for a... Um, like a person who's like trying to kill everybody. And I was like, uh, I don't know. And he said, just make up one. And I was like, okay, Shaliki. And he was like, okay. And then he used it on in the book. So that was kind of cool. So, okay. So now we're going to pick out one more thing to draw. So let's take, let's put the balloon back. We'll put it back actually at the end. So we don't have a chance to pick it again. Let's see. See what we get. Oh. Oh. oh, before, oh, I picked these two. But before we um, continue, I just want to show you my video. So, this is him. Kimolo's having a donut. He's got crumbs on his face. He's really happy. So, I really love my balloon drawing. Okay. So, the first one I picked was this one. Ooh, what does it say? Oh, I got black squirrel. So I'm drawing a black squirrel. And I'm drawing a donkey. And I can draw this however I want to. So I think I'm going to, oh gosh, sorry about that. So I'm going to draw a black squirrel and a donkey. So let's turn you guys back around. So sorry, this video is really bad, but um. Thank you guys so much for all your support. This has been so much fun and I'm so excited that I finally figured out how to make a YouTube channel. I've been wanting to do this for so long and it means so much to me that you guys like my videos. Well, some of you and I just really appreciate that I've got like 105 views. So thank you so much for everything. You haven't done that much, but I'm just so happy that I get to share what I feel like I want to put out there and you guys get to watch it. All right, so um, I don't really know how to draw a black squirrel. Hmm, I feel like should the should Kimolo be riding on the donkey? No, I feel like the donkey's gonna be right here. So it doesn't matter how I do the donkey; like I can do him realistic or not realistic. I think he's gonna be pretty realistic. Well, as realistic as I can, but, um, yeah, and when I used to do horses, I guess I'm going to do with the donkey, uh, when I draw horses and, like, stuff like that, I always do like that. I don't know why. This is an interesting drawing of a donkey. Oh, God, okay. Well, you can always erase in art, but, so... I guess I can tell you, oh, so I wanted to tell you guys uh, the story of Piccola. She is actually, right now, she's sleeping. Actually, I can't see her. She's laying on my sweatshirt. What I like to do for her, I like to put out a sweatshirt or something for her to lay on, and I'm going to show you her in just a little second, but she, there she is, Peaky, 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 look, <gasps> Peaky. Peaky, hi Peaky. So she's um, really tired and adorable right now. But anyway, so yeah, so the story of how we got her is I wanted a dog for a very long time. Like I love 
dogs from the start. I love them so much. They're so cute and just awesome. And so I really, really wanted a dog. So my parents, um, gosh, why is this so bad? So anyway, so um, my parents like were trying to find me a dog and I was like, really upset for some reason. I was like, oh, I'm never getting a dog. And they said, actually, we were gonna surprise you with this, but we're getting you a dog. We're trying to find a dog that's a good fit for our family. And this is really bad. Okay, I don't know why this is so bad, but anyway, continuing. Um, so basically we were, um, we, so they found, we were in a tunnel. There was like a tunnel in Italy that we went to, to under to cross the street. And basically, um, there were a bunch of like people who posted like pictures of their dogs and like, the, this dog needs to be adopted or like uh, find a good home for this dog or something like that. And so Pika's mother was on that list. And so we were like, oh, that's so cool. And she was this only, like she was the only small dog that there was. Um, there in the place and so um my parents called their number and we were like can we set an appointment and stuff like that and so they were like sure so we did that and anyway um so then we gosh I, I haven't drawn horses in a long time but clearly I'm not that good at it anymore but anyway okay there we go so uh so then we they went to her, but, like, she was scared of everything. The, her name was Scaraboki, but they called her scary, and they called her scary because she was, like, scared of everything. And this was in Italy, and she was just, like, she would just shake all the time, even when her owners were holding her. And we lived in a more busy, a busier part of the city than where they lived, so she would have been scared and, like... When you get a dog, you want them to be happy and you want them to be good for, for your family and you want your kids to like them and stuff like that. And it wasn't going to be a good fit for us. But then um, when uh, they were like, we were like, oh, my parents were like, no, we can't have her. We don't want her to be so scared. And um, so they said, well, she had a puppy. And I always say this about everything, but if you hear about a puppy, you're going to get the puppy 100%. So that's how Pico came into our lives. And um, the first time I saw her, she was really tiny. She fit in my dad's hand. She was so cute. And she was kind of like fat and she sort of like teeter tottered when she walked. She had like this little fat short tail and she was so cute. And she was actually a lot more, like, brown and black on her face. And now, like, as she's gotten older, she's, like, spread. And then it's gotten, like, she's gotten brown spots on her back. So she's, like, changes colors all the time. Um, and I remember, this is really funny, uh, the story that happened. So we brought her home, and we, like, got all the stuff for her. And we set her down. She didn't do anything. She was, like, scared and tiny, and she was a little puppy. And I think we might have gotten her a little too early, but she was okay, and she loves us. Don't you do love me? Peeksty. I'm going to show you. Peeky. Yeah, anyway. She's like, stop calling my name. Just continue with my story. So anyway, so um, we set her down. And I was like, I told, I said to my mom, I was like, can we take her back? She doesn't do anything. And um, I was really little. So I feel like um, I'm so glad that she's with us and... Yeah, so that's the story of Piccola, and she's five years old. Her name means little in Italian because everybody started calling her Piccola. Oh, Piccola, like, she's so tiny. She's so cute. And so she was already used to that name, so you're we like, we're naming her Piccola. And she's she keeps looking at me every time I say her name. Piki. Anyway, but, um, yeah, so that's her story. And... Uh, I am done with my donkey. So here's my donkey right here. And he looks pretty good. I feel like I just want to make him free. I don't want him to have to be have a saddle on him. And he's his name should be hmm, uh, Fudge. Like Fudge Brownie. So his name is Fudge, even though he's not brown. 
And now we're going to do a black squirrel. So, yeah. So, anyway, I don't really know what to talk about when I'm drawing the black squirrel. But, um, yeah. So, that's uh, Pikula's story. She is so cute. And, gosh, why is this so bad? All right. I'm going to redo that. Anyway, um, so... Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos I've been posting. There's a lot coming up. I have a lot of ideas for, like, bedtime routines that I could do. But, um, yeah, so you guys just... For some reason, uh, you guys can't comment on my videos because YouTube, like, turned off the comments. And I don't know how to turn them back on. So that's annoying. But... At least we have videos where I can just talk to you and, like, tell you things. I wish I could say, like, comment down below what you think, but you can't. Unless you can. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, I don't really know how to, how a squirrel's mouth looks like. I remember when I was little, I drew them like this. But he's black, so... Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, well, he's supposed to be black, but he's not really. Also, I'll tell you more about me, I guess. I joined my first hip-hop class. I mean, no, I started my first hip-hop class here. I've been taking hip-hop for a long time, but I stopped for two years because we couldn't take it in Bogota, which was really sad for me, but then we got back, and I could take it longer so that was good i think i'm gonna give the squirrel some nuts but anyway his name is gonna be cheeky i keep using this for like my usernames in um in video games that i play but anyway um so my hip-hop teacher is really awesome we're doing this dance to purple hat um by sophie tucker it sounds like a girl, but it's actually a boy. And the guy says people a bunch of times. And I love the dance. It's so fun. I practice all the time. So, yeah. So, we're maybe I'll show you that. But I don't want to, like, spoil it. So, I, I'll show you after the show. I really hope we have a show. I think we do. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I think I'm going to let Pikla say goodbye to you. But before I do that, these are my drawings. So, this is Kimolo the adorable little balloon he's eating a donut with frosting and sprinkles this is cheeky our adorable little black squirrel he has a nut and then here's um here's fudge and i feel like fudge doesn't have anything so we're gonna give him a little carrot all right so Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm probably going to do more things like this, more creative drawing stuff. So I hope you guys had so much fun. I had a lot of fun making this video. And I'm just going to have Peaky, who's sleeping right now. I'll show you her again. Sleeping. Well, she was. So Peaky's going to say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can see me again. And turn on the bell so that you can get post notifications every time Savannah posts a brand new video. <laughs> oh, okay. Want to give a kiss to everybody? Yeah. Also, guys, um, when you do that, you don't have to uh, hit the bell. I didn't do that for any of the people that I subscribed to because I don't really want to get a bunch of notifications. You don't have to do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.